There's another clip where all of the inmates nah, were in the holding cell. And while in the cell, everything was all good until Vine noticed his op 051 Freaky. <clears throat> Once he saw him, Vine slipped out of his handcuffs and headed toward Freaky. Freaky tried That's hiding, so but Vine caught him since he couldn't do much and knocked him to the ground. Two other inmates joined in to help Vine, and thankfully, prison guards came to the rescue and broke everything up. Vine and Freaky were both removed from the bullpen, and one thing that left everyone confused was how Vine was able to get out of the handcuffs. Here, what's a good job, ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? We got rappers, most disturbing moments behind bars. You know what I'm saying? Back at it. Tribologist, what's good? Let's get smooth to it, man. See what we got today. Disclaimer. One rapper got oh. slashed in the face while behind bars, and King Von almost burned the whole jail down while locked up. These are rappers, crazy yeah, huh? bars. And King Von almost burned the whole jail down oh, while locked up. These are rappers, arson crazy, and, in the cell. and most crazy. disturbing moments behind yeah, bars. In and first, we gotta start with Chicago rapper Lil J. A video got leaked of Lil J letting another man sit that in his lap so and kiss him while behind bars. Not long after the clip went viral, Lil J spoke about it and said he's still respected in the streets and oh. doesn't care. Still king, legit. Still real respected in the streets. I ain't got. But they're like, man, that video was you. We don't give a f and go. We know what you do. You That's agree. not a burger, right? Somewhere the past, the past. And because of this, other inmates that. started picking on Lil J for what he was doing. There's another clip that shows Lil J confronting another inmate is, since the inmate was harassing the dude that Lil J talks to. In the clip, the man calls Lil J to his cell to let him know that he's not leaving since Why another is inmate is harassing him. Lil J then goes over to confront the inmate who was harassing the dude. They meet in the cell to settle their problems. After the altercation, Lil J is removed from the day room by the guards, and the man that Lil J is dating was finally able to walk out of his cell. And people were non-stop picking on Lil J due to what he was doing because one inmate wanted to to get at him so bad that he threw a cup full of poop and disgusting stuff at Lil J to get out. Oh. After the incident, one of the guards questioned Lil J about it, and here's what he had to say. In your own words, can you tell me what happened? I, I got a, a verbal altercation earlier. I was on the phone, somebody spray sh me. I been my oh sister. my gosh. Okay, that concludes this interview. But what Lil J <laughs> did is nothing compared to what happened to this next rapper. Because a rapper from Florida who Great signed shit. to YFN Lucci, Fuck known no. as CP3, had something very disturbing happen to him while behind bars. Time, CP3 time, is currently locked up in Fulton County. Nothing compared to what happened to this next rapper. Because a rapper from Florida who signed to YFN oh, Lucci, known okay, as CP3, okay. had something very disturbing happen to him while behind bars. Hello, CP3 is currently locked up in Fulton County Jail. And a video came out showing members from YSL poking him up since he's one of their known ops oh. thankfully cp3 didn't Hell end up losing no. his life since it seemed like they really wanted to take him out but yfn ended up getting back at ysl due to what they did to cp3 because not too long after the video got released another video came out that showed a ysl member tied up and getting whooped by some ysl members the man even tries removing the YSL tattoo off the man's That's skin so to make him regret his actions. And the video is pretty crazy. You went crying when you were slime. Oh. <laughs> now, let's move on to Casanova. Because on Thursday, June 16th, right. Casanova was sitting in jail when a dude named yeah, Ulysses Lugo there, came at him with a blade. Casanova's face got slashed up. But he didn't just sit there and let it happen. Casanova started fighting back, and that's when Lugo tried running away. By the time the guards arrived to break everything up, Casanova and his partners had chased Lugo down. Casanova had already slashed Lugo several times in the face, too. It's not clear why Lugo attacked Casanova like that, but rumors say it was because of a letter that Casanova had sent to the judge in his case. Now, let's move on to King Von, because Von has a ton of wild videos of him while behind bars. And most people in jail would fight in their cells to avoid getting caught by the guards. But Von was so ready for action that he ain't care who was around. A surveillance video from the jail shows him jumping someone with his partner right in front of a guard. No. The two of them beat the guy all the way down the hallway, and the guard just sat there and watched. Eventually, some more guards showed up and pepper sprayed them, and that's when Von ducked off to wipe his face. After it went down, the guards interviewed Von about when they asked him what happened. He kept it solid and didn't say too much. I got me. Why'd you get me? in the hallway. He was in the hallway. I was in the barbershop, hit the corner. Who makes me skip? I don't know. Somebody makes me. 
They just next to you for no reason? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got any injuries? Yeah. Did you receive medical attention? No, I talked to the counselor. I ain't getting no... Psych, you talked to the psych staff? Yeah. That isn't Vaughn's only fight while behind bars, either. There's another clip where all of the inmates yeah, were in the holding cell. And while in the cell, everything was all good. Until Vine noticed his op, 051 Freaky. <clears throat> Once he saw him, Vine slipped out of his handcuffs and headed toward Freaky. Freaky tried That's hiding, okay. but Vine caught him since he couldn't do much and knocked him to the ground. Two other inmates joined in to help Vine, and thankfully, prison guards came to the rescue and broke everything up. Vine and Freaky were both removed from the bullpen, and one thing that left everyone confused was how Vine was able to get out of the handcuffs. Yeah, nah, that's just... The reason King Vine attacked Freaky was because he had a disrespectful tattoo on his arm saying F LA Capone. After the fight, the police wanted a statement from Vine and Freaky, and this That's is what Vine had to say. In your own words, explain what happened? Do not. You refuse to give a statement? That's my statement right there. I ain't do it. Mr. Bennett stating that he did not do anything. Anything else you want to add? No, I see. Mr. Howard, in your own words, explain what happened? It's not good, It's not. Anything else you want to add? You have any okay. But it's one thing to get into a fight and another to end up losing your life behind uh, bars. Nah. Because that's what happened to this next rapper. Because rapper Money Sign Suede was locked up serving two years and eight months in Soledad prison for a gun charge. Before getting locked up, Suede had told everyone in interviews that he wanted to leave the gang life behind. Suggesting yeah. that it might have been part of his past. And word on the street was that he didn't want that to change when he got locked up. According to what inmates were saying, Suede wasn't rocking with the prison's gang culture and wanted to serve his time alone without having the gang bang. But the Serrano's gang wasn't so happy with that, and that ended up costing him his life. It's also been reported that he spent a lot of time talking on the phone with his girlfriend, and some say he had conversations that made some gang members feel like he was dry snitching on them. Just a few months into his sentence, things took a turn. On April 25th, 2023, prison guards conducted a routine inmate check, but during the check, Suede didn't show up, so they searched all over the prison to try to find him. They eventually ended up finding Suede, but unfortunately, he was unresponsive in the shower and was bleeding heavily with a stab oh. wound in his neck. The staff tried saving Suede's life and transported him to an on-site medical facility, but it was already too late. A local up and coming rapper has been killed while in prison in Northern California. This is a music video from Money Sign Suede, whose real name is Jaime Brugada Valdez. According to prison officials in Monterey County, Suede's death is being investigated nah, as a homicide. Crazy, but it isn't on. always the inmates doing disturbing and crazy things yeah, to each other behind bars. We know. Because sometimes it's the guards. Because rapper Queso is currently behind bars fighting two murder charges. And his time behind bars ain't been easy since in in 2021, a video surfaced showing Queso being slammed to the ground oh. by one of the correctional officers. He posted a video on Instagram showing the situation, and Queso's grandmother even filed a complaint to the prison after seeing the video. But officials responded by saying no evidence was discovered to substantiate misconduct on the part of the member. According to YNR Slugger T, another rapper from Jacksonville, this ain't the only altercation Queso has been involved in on the inside. Slugger T is affiliated with Fulio and is one of Queso's ops. And in a video posted on social media, Slugger T claims he beat Queso up, and now he's afraid of him. But besides what Slugger says, there's no evidence nah. that it actually went down. But sometimes, rappers nah, are the nah. ones attacking guards. Because while Tay K is serving his 55 year sentence, it's been known That's that he was so giving crazy. the guards a hard time by cursing them out, going over his set phone Tay time, Tay and even throwing wet toilet paper at them. In November 2020, right. an article came out letting everyone know that Tay K had gained some more time in addition to his 55 year prison 55 sentence for stabbing years, one of the guards. Yo. And if convicted, Tay K could be facing the rest of his natural life behind bars. 50, and while in prison, well. you gotta be careful what you do because you never know how far some of the inmates are willing to take things. And Crip Mac had, had to learn much. this the hard way and ended up losing his tooth during a crazy fight with a blood member. Crip Mac explains the fight in one of his interviews with Cam Capone News. Look over, yeah, I'm big. I'm 6'2", 270, I'm big. You're a big dude. But this mother is 6'4", about 320, <laughs> 340. You fighting me? I don't hustle. Yeah. 
of blood uh, from the west side named Brazy. We got it. You fight me. Honeycombs? Stupid. Bro, about 340, but I'm swollen. get 15 years upstate. Why does audio so low? We get down, cut. We get it. It's a good round. All hustlers, cut, drop me. We get down again on neighborhood crap. Cut hit me with some hard cut, knock the teeth out. I'm like, oh, come look. But now, let's talk about Vaughn again. Because he had a situation in the day room one day. And this two guy. dudes were jumping one of his ops. So once Vaughn saw what was going on, he decided to jump in. And things didn't turn out nice after he did this. Because after, someone tried to run up on Vine after he jumped in. And that's when Vine threw a hook and dropped the dude before getting chased by cops and tackled yeah. to the ground. But that ain't nothing. Because there's even an incident where King Vine almost burned the whole jail down while being locked up. Because on April 15th, 2017, King Vine and several other inmates set fire to the Cook County Jail. The whole room was getting smoked out and the fire was slowly getting larger. But over time, the fire slowly died out before things got too out of hand. Now, let's move on to FBG Butter because he's one of King Vine's ops, and he used to be friends with Lil J, but they also turned enemies. And while behind bars, Naturally. Lil J put a hit on Butter and got him jumped. And even though there's no footage of the situation, things must have been pretty bad. When the guards questioned Butter about the incident, he told them everything. Uh, we all was uncuffed, and then three guys ran up on me, and they, and they jumped on me in the hallway. And I tried, I, I tried to defend myself, but the COs they was attacking me more and I was doing a running and one of the guys he was, he was pulling my hair and um, I was slammed to the ground the inmates was pulling your hair? yeah okay and, um, clarify that yeah. <laughs> before you you know what I mean yeah I apologize the okay pulling my hair and, um, one of the guys one of the inmates jumped off. I got to keep separate on him. Oh, nah, this nigga's... Uh, nah, he's rapping. I ain't gonna lie. What's going on, brother? Nigga giving names and all. Gov, full gov. But that ain't the only disturbing situation But that ain't the only disturbing situation but has been through. Because he also saw his sister lose her life in front of him and spoke on the situation in an interview. And this other rapper almost crashed out and nearly popped the interviewer because of a question he asked. All right, all right, So click this video to see Rappers most disturbing we, we, we interviews. You heard it. Appreciate it though. Appreciate the recommendation, homie. Damn, bro. It's a lot going on, man. But yeah, man. Can't be, can't be, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's the word? Fetishizing the, you know what I'm saying, the jail culture, you know what I'm saying, gang culture. You know what I'm saying? If that's not your body, you know what I'm saying, respectfully, stay in your lane. But, um, yeah, nah. It's uh, interesting. Interesting. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, but anyways, man, links in the description getting tuned. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all take it easy. Good boop, 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 boop. Good boop.